Hello, welcome back to Host of I. My name's Alex, and today we're looking at Unify Network Application 7.5.187. This update was released just under a week ago to release Candida, and just today it's been released to the official channel. Now, this update brings support for Wi Fi Private Pre Shared Keys, or PPSK for short. It also has a brand new dashboard for Wi Fi only setups. So, in this video, we're going to run through how to set up Wi Fi Private Pre Shared Keys and testing to see if they work, as well as going over the update for the brand new dashboard. So, first things first, we're going to look at the release notes for 7.5.187. So, we've got the details here about the private pre-shared keys and then you booked you've got an example with the guests the IOT and the employees and basically what this offers is you can have one SSID with multiple different passwords and then depending on what password people put in it routes them through a different VLAN so you could have one for guests you could hand out a guest password and it will route them through the various VLANs for those different SSIDs. So very important for Hostify customers, it's the new dashboard for Wi-Fi only setups. A lot of our customers don't even have a UXG, they just have a, a Wi-Fi access point and a switch. And this new update makes better use of the screen real estate that otherwise went unused. So we've now got a few things. We've got a signal strength, session times, and some traffic light systems. We've got a access point graph at the bottom here, and it also shows us the most active access points and also the most active Wi-Fi clients. There's also information about the signal strength over time and the channel utilization for 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. So looking at the Unify application, I've got my controller up to date to 7.5.187, you can see here in the settings page. So I've got a few SSIDs in my setup. I've got a host of SSID, I've got a guest one, and I've also got an IoT. Under my devices, I've got a UXG Pro, I've got a US 8150 watt switch, and I've got a UAP AC light. So to set up the private pre-shared keys, you go to create new SSID, and we're gonna go to manual, and then say private pre-shared keys. We've got a little I taught it here. It says access additional networks via unique passwords all on the same Wi-Fi connection. So we're gonna click turn that on and it gives us the option to make new private pre-shared keys. So I'm gonna have one for users, and this is VLAN 2. So if this was in a office, we'd have a guest network, IoT network, and also a users network for the staff. So we're gonna have a password for this one. So it's gonna be one through one through eight stuff for that one. We're gonna add that one. And then we're going to have another one for our guest, and we're going to have 87654321, just for simplicity's sake. Add that one, and then save. And the Wi-Fi name will be Hostify Office. So we're going to make that new SSID. And then what we'll do is we'll jump over to my phone, and we'll see those SSIDs come up, and then we'll do some testing. So we're going to see what SSIDs come up when we do a scan on my iPhone here. So we've got Wi-Fi. And we've got some other SSIDs which I've got, which I've got set up. But the one we're looking for is Hostify Office. And we can enter in the password for the one we want. So I'm just double checking what password we set. So under the pre-share key settings with the Unify, we had two passwords we set. So we've got users and guest. I'm going to try the guest password. So that was 87654321. And that should give us an IP address within the 192.168.3 range on VLAN 3. So we'll see what, what comes up there. So it did mention there was an incorrect password, but it did work in the end. So Hostify Office, and then we got so we got 192.168.3. So if we forget that SSID, and if we connect to the Hostify Office again, but this time use 12345678, and there we go, we've got the same SSID, different password, and we're now on 192.168.2. So that would be very useful, as I mentioned, in an office where you want one SSID for the company, you don't want to loads of different SSIDs clustering up the, the Wi-Fi space, um, but you want different VLANs in use. So that's a really good option and a really good addition to the Unify network application. So the last thing we're gonna look at within Unify network 7.5.187 is the new dashboard for Wi-Fi only setups. So this is what the Unify network application looks like with a UXG Pro or any other gateway. You've got the Wi-Fi technology on the right hand side there. You've got a traffic identification widget on this side here. And then if you had more clients connected, you'd have a, a active client section here, most active access points. And then we've got some data for the WAN IP address the gateway IP address, system up time, we've also got the internet details here for the speed test. So we're now going to look at a site on the same controller that's only got a Wi-Fi access point on it. So this site only has one Wi-Fi access point and you can see the dashboard looks a lot different. On the left hand side you've now got the admin activity, you've now got some details about how many times a certain user's logged in or who has last has logged in. You've got a server IP address for the controller, uh, system up time again. And you've got some information here about how many clients are connected to the system, as well as how many access points you have. And if you had a switch as well, it would show that too. And then on the dashboard, we've got everything is tailored towards Wi-Fi connectivity. So you've got all access points and then the traffic on the network as well. How many TX retries there have been, how many clients have been connected at a given time. And then you've got signal strength session times as well. Uh, so it tells you how much of the time um, certain clients have got certain signals. So you can see 
most of the time people have got a between next 60 and next 70 signal that you can see how many times retries on tx have been attempted and then you've got your most active clients and then how many active access points you have. So that's been a look at the Unify network application 7.5.187. For Hostify customers, we have not yet pushed this to be available. However, our dev team is testing this release and we should expect this update to be available very soon. For any updates in that time frame, make sure to check our social media profiles. The links are in the description down below. Thanks for watching this video. My name is Alex. If you want to learn more about Hostify, have a look at hostify.com. We do hosting for Unify, UISP, NT, Palink, Amada. For any consulting, check out Hostify Pro and hire an engineer today to help with your project. For any questions about Unify, UISP or TP Commander, contact our support team, support at hostify.com and they'll be happy to help you out. Thank you for watching this video. My name's Alex and we'll see you again next time.